Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, digital infrastructure, and the networks within. My name is Emily Scherer for JSA, and I am joined today by Brett Lindsay. He is the CEO of Involta. They are a data center leader reimagining the future of enterprise data centers. Brett, thank you so much for being here today. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And you are the new CEO of Involta, so a fairly recent position for you. Um, and you come to the data Data center industry after many years in Fiverr. So That's right. I'm interested in what brought you over to the data center space and what opportunities you see for Involta. Well, after being in the in the fiber space for 30 years, I thought it was time to do something new. Uh, and it's really exciting to me to be in the data center space when you consider everything that's happening in the sector. The tailwinds behind it have probably never been stronger than they are today. And so really thought it was a great time to jump into a, a different sector of the space that I'm very familiar with. I've known Involta for more than a decade. We've sold services with them and I've known the original founder, Bruce, for a long time. So it, it was a very nice and natural fit for me. Great. Excellent. Well, congratulations Thank on you. your new position. Very exciting. Um, now let's talk a little bit about growth and expansion across the United States. So what markets do you see becoming more attractive to enterprises in the year ahead and why might that be? Yeah, I think that almost every market is attractive right now to the enterprise. And so when we think about it, we like to be in tier two markets that are maybe a little bit less competitive than uh, Atlanta, New York and L.A. And so by going after those tier two cities, we still have a large population trying to find a city that's roughly a million people. That gives us enough kind of mid-market and large enterprise that we can successfully fill our data centers. And so for us right now, I think it's also about solving that problem at the edge. And so I think we've, we've heard about the edge for probably a decade. I think it's finally coming to fruition. And so from our perspective, our ability to service customers at that 500 kilowatt to five megawatt is really our sweet spot. And so our belief is that by continuing to go after that space, we can grow and continue to expand into new markets. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, good luck with that. That Thank sounds you. fantastic. And I know you participated on a panel yesterday. It was about um, the title of that was what will it take to deliver the data center of the future today? So tell us how are data centers keeping pace while maintaining an eye on the future as well? I don't think that you you can operate a data center today without having an eye on the future because the demands of the data centers are growing so quickly. All of us have to be planning, especially because of what's happening in supply chain, where you really need to know where your business is going to be going 12, 24, 36 months into the future. So from our perspective, being able to tell enterprise customers that we are AI ready, not that we're going to be building the large language model for them, but we're there to support them, to provide them a secure location where they can stand up their own AI infrastructure with a partner like us is something that we think will really be kind of carrying the business forward for the next five to 10 years. Absolutely. And everybody wanting to get a jump on AI. So having a partner that can help them do that is is very key. So, Absolutely. Excellent. Great. Well, is there anything else you want to add? Maybe tell us uh, where we can learn more about Involta. Sure. Uh, well, a couple things. Um, we just rolled out a new partner channel. And so we're we're excited about that. So we have Michael Jaffe, who's the VP over that group, and he's really uh, getting us out into the marketplace in a way that we hadn't been before. Uh, we also just recently did an acquisition in Green Bay. So this is a new site for us with a campus that will allow for us to span, expand up to 20 megawatts. It could be our largest data center. So for us right now, I think just we're here at the show. We'd love to you know, have conversations with people, but um, excited to see what's coming for us in the future. Yeah, congratulations about Green Bay. That's really thank you. exciting. Thanks yeah, a lot. Excellent. Appreciate it. And thank you so much for being here today uh, and joining us on JSA TV. Yeah, my pleasure. Appreciate it. Absolutely. And thank you for tuning in and to our viewers, happy networking.